first He's going to, yep. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, well, you see what happens when you take things out of context because according to President Obama, Ronald Reagan would be a socialist today. And then, of course, is that to say, like, well, since Obama's supposed to be like Reagan, and Reagan was a socialist, then Obama can be a socialist. Is that where the thought was going? Oh, I know. It makes you scratch your head, doesn't it? But you know what? Reagan, a socialist? Come on! That's really stretching it. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And the hybrid car owners are not buying again. Well, yeah, because the first car, okay, the car loses god awful amount of value the instant you buy it more than a regular car. Nobody wants to buy the used ones, and um, they're too expensive to buy in the first place, so that only one out of them. Um, they said less than 30% of the people want to buy a hybrid once they have bought one. And they said 90% of the people won't even buy a hybrid. So Obama's dream of hybrids are green cars is just out the window, folks. Because, I mean, okay, they admitted last month they bought 20, a record sales month for the Chevy Volt. They sold 2,300 cars and then had to admit that they were all sold to the Obama administration, which means nobody wanted a single one of them other than the government. And Reagan would be a socialist today. Oh God! I mean, the Reagan family is so. Oh my gosh! Talk about oh. Believe. Saying that that uh, the Republicans today would consider him a socialist. His attitude. Well, the problem was is he never said what the president said he said. He took everything out of context. He was talking about that we've got to close tax loopholes because he said that uh, there was a there was there's holes in the tax system you could drive a stagecoach through. And that, and that was sort of left out of the thing. And he said that we need to fix this so that a millionaire is paying taxes. You know, and, and he said the only way we can do that is to close loopholes. He didn't say raise taxes. He said close the loopholes. And, and listening in there, Democrats admitted, well, that it won't raise any money whatsoever. None. Uh, it's nothing but an election thing because they're not closing the loopholes that allow them not to pay the money. So if they raise the tax by raise it up, they're going to have the same loopholes, which means they're still not paying anything. Except they're going to be pissed off and they're going to not spend money here. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> and Facegram news sparks Twitter storm. Oh God! Every, or is that Facegram or is there thinking Instagram? Instagram? They're making they're basically they're, they're insulting them on basically what it is is they're hashing or whatever it is things on. Twitter and all the things, and they're really at war, right? Because they okay, Facebook has a problem with security to begin with. Facebook is doing this, Facebook is doing that. Today they just added gaming, and people do not trust Facebook. So now they're taking a thing where people were sending their pictures over a cell phone, and now it's owned by Facebook. Okay. And it was, it was a, they admit today that it was a huge error on the part of Zuckerman when he did that, but he's stuck oh, with really? the now because they, they've lost like 20% of their base already. Oh, off of Facebook? Oh, no, off, off of the Instagram subscribers. Oh. Are, they're, they're, they're basically uh, yelled to the point that, uh, uh, that Instagram is making it easier for the people to remove all their content now than it was before. They're, they're, fleeing, they're fleeing Instagram because they, they're scared of Facebook and what it will do with it. <laughs> yeah, that was not the intention. Uh huh. Um, two thirds of all millionaires are demanding the the Buffett rule be passed. I'm assuming it's Buffett, not buffet. Buffett. Well, so I was in a hurry. I don't get much rest. I, Monty has a Monty actually says an inset army and insect. I mean, they go after me if I'm if I'm slow. But what happened was. They, they, they had a news broadcast on and the people, there were five people in the room, they were either directly millionaires or their family were, and amazing, there wasn't a single one of them or their families that demanded that their taxes be raised. And uh, one, of the, one of the people there, his husband was an income tax lawyer, he said, he, he said 10 minutes after they pass it, if they were to pass it, which they know they won't because it's political, this is Democrats, folks. He said, I'll have, um, I'll have basically fixed it so they won't have to pay any of the new taxes. So he, well, they said all was, again, the only, th okay, the money they raise will only amount to one week of Obama's spending. That's one, it? After, it? Ten, after ten, they go through all of that? One week of Obama's spending is what it will bring in a year. One week out of 52. 
And uh, as yesterday, Senator Schumer, Schumer of New York actually was honest, which most people aren't. He said that he said that he knows it's not going to bring any money, but it, you have to raise the first tax in order to raise the taxes on the people that actually have the money, which is the middle class. That's the Democrats yeah, make it work is to go to the middle class. And what happens is if Obama opens the floodgates, they're going to hit the middle class. They always do. Anyway, it's going to hit the middle class because not only the millionaires are not going to pay the taxes, Warren Buffett owes billions, folks, he hasn't paid. Most of Obama's people have never paid their taxes. But they're going to stop spending their money here, which is why Obama's threatening them to seize their assets unless they spend money here. Which he, the, the, you know, he's got a Congress that's hostile. They'll never go along with anything he does again. Yeah, so so we say today. Yeah. <laughs> An eye brain can read your mind, unless Stephen Hawking. I know, basically, it, it, it can't. It's just what happens is that these people, scientists are always stuck in the 22nd century if they're in the 21st. So they're thinking of things that are gonna that well in the 22nd century will be able to read minds. Well, they said that I when I was a little kid, I used to. Watch Buck Rogers, I mean, people don't know who Buck Rogers or Price Gordon really was like. They were real popular. And they had people that would go up and do, they put little helmets on your head and they could tell what you were thinking when they put a helmet on your head. Actually, there's many times when somebody can look at somebody's faces and know what they're thinking without having a helmet on their head. I know. Especially <laughs> if they're looking at girls wearing very short skirts walking by. And you don't even need a helmet. That's right. Well, at least for your, well, never mind. Yeah. Um, the cyber, oh. Everything you need to know about the Titanic's 100th anniversary. Well, the one thing that you needed to know was the boat, boat that was following the Titanic's, uh, the, by, by following the Titanic's uh, trip, you know, the, the way it was mapped out basically has had problems and isn't functioning right. <laughs> so the Titanic being held all over again. Are you serious? They said maybe the, maybe the Bermuda zone was in a, a thing. Also, they figured out that, the, that basically, that it was just a simple matter of timing. If things hadn't have been this way and this way, the ship would have never been there at the same time the iceberg was because there was a change in the ocean. They went back and checked the history. Currents had changed, and the, and the ship's captain had no way of knowing that the currents had changed because they didn't have radios that back then. It worked 24 hours. Does cyberbullying law punish free speech? Oh, absolutely, because you're telling people that you, can, you can't say certain things because if you say certain things, you can go to jail for saying certain things now. I mean, all because you, you got a nation ran by the Democratic Party, the most Democrats, okay, th this is my father's opinion of the Democrats going back to World War II at the Battle of Bulls when he was with the Patton's uh, people. My father was headquarters, 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 he was a tank officer and a communications officer. He said, when we got to the rear end of the lines at the balls, we ran into the Democrats. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And cell phones and cancer critics say kids risk brain tumors. Okay. They, okay. Uh, Democrats once again did a study and said cell phones are bad for you. The problem is they've done nine million studies that say cell phones don't give you cancer. Yeah. And? You no, know, but the Democrats want to ban the use of cell phones. And strip searches, the Supreme Court's disturbing decision. Well, it's got to do with the fact that people are bringing in things into jails that they don't want brought in. So the problem comes. Here's one, uh, what one of the Supreme Court justices said, don't do the crime and you don't have to pay the dime. Uh, well, that sounds really easy, doesn't it? Yeah, but they uh, said that people generally said that 99% uh, of the people that are picked up are only picked up because they're doing something suspicious. If you're not doing anything suspicious, they never pay any attention to you. And Tunisians jailed for Facebook cartoons of Mohammed. Oh yeah, because I mean, the, the, our president wants us to become more like the Muslim world. And garage sale fined $130 million in Coke stock. No, they, that's what they try to say. No, the stock wouldn't be worth anything because it's got to be a zillion years old. And what happens is they basically call in the stock and replace it with new, new stocks and bonds. So if you had, say, I, mean, I knew a person that had $100 million worth of AT&T stock. He was actually, he was, a, he, he was an actor. Uh, and he, he, he found out, you know, they asked him, well, how, you're wealthy, and he, he, had it, he had, basically had it on the walls of his home, and, you know, and they said, well, no, because I was 
and I was off at war at the time they called for the bond, they called for the stock to come in and be replaced. Said it makes wallpaper, that's all it's worth. When they call for everything to be replaced, oh, you, you don't need go to replace it. it, it's worth nothing. And her, oh, how disappointing! Yeah, an heroic man died. It sounds like airline miles, yeah, right? You didn't go redeem your miles, so they're gone. Well, no, but it is done the same thing as when you call money in to be changed. If you don't change the money, the money that you had is worthless. And a road man died saving child from powerful riptide. He, the guy, he had a heart attack and died from a heart attack, so he should have been out in the water to begin with. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, in, in this modern era, make certain you push the button. <laughs>